Jesus. When you say that name, you just feel something different. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's, been, it's, been a, it's been an awesome day. No matter how it went, it's been an awesome day. I can't complain about it. How y'all feeling tonight? There you go. See, most people, you know, last time, last time I heard everybody, you know, a few people were saying good. Some, I'm all right. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? And now everybody, everybody on the same, you know, got, got the same mindset. We all blessed, right? We woke up this morning. <laughs> I, like, I, I love it. I got a smile on my face. I'm feeling, I'm, I'm feeling good. And it's all because of God. Amen. You know, when we praise and worship here, it doesn't stop just at the church house. You know what I'm saying? It don't stop here. You know what I'm saying? Take God wherever you go. You know what I'm saying? Take God wherever you go. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter if it's a store, if it's school, if it's down the street, if it's your next door neighbor's house, take God wherever you go. We're going to start with uh, Romans 1.16. And it's a refresher. Of course, we all know this verse, but it's a refresher, and it's always good to be uh, uh, refreshed, especially in the Word of God. It says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. I repeat, and everybody, uh, everybody read it with me. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. To the Jew first and also to the Greek. And when you say that, you should feel something on the inside. That should make you feel amazing. You know what I'm saying? Shame. And we shouldn't be ashamed. The world trying to make you feel ashamed? And no, it ain't going to happen. You know what I'm saying? You got to stand firm in what you believe in, right? Each and, every, each and every one of us, me, myself included. You know what I'm saying? When I read that verse, uh, it should mean something to you. I'm happy to say that I got God. And nobody can pluck me out of his hand. Amen. Not one person. It ain't going to happen? Yeah, it ain't going to happen. That's all, that's all I can say. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, go ahead and have a seat. I, uh, well, actually, I'll go ahead and pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for uh, letting us be here today, Lord Jesus. Help us, Lord Jesus, to not be ashamed, Lord Jesus, of the gospel. Lord Jesus, we thank you for saving us, Lord Jesus. I will not be ashamed to say that I belong to you, that I live for you, Lord Jesus, that you are my king, my father, my creator, Lord Jesus. I will not be ashamed. I pray, Lord Jesus, that we apply this in our lives, Lord God, to walk with you everywhere we go, Lord God, <laughs> to not be ashamed in the marketplace, to not be ashamed when we go to school, when we go to work, Lord Jesus, the daycares, Lord God, everywhere, Lord Jesus, the gas stations, Lord Jesus, to carry you everywhere we go. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I may be seated. I'm not ashamed to say who I belong to. That's what you're basically saying. Amen. You would be shocked how contagious that, <laughs> the, uh, 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 that one verse can be. How contagious if you, uh, 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 you can be. You know what I'm saying? Actually, how contagious God can be when, you, when, when, when you're living this way. I remember in a youth class the other day, I remember, uh, I'm not going to say her name because, of course, we're on camera and everything like that, but... Remember, she asked, you know, what do you do if your friend is an atheist and you're trying to witness to him? And, and, and they don't want to hear it. It's simple. Just live this verse. Because the, the more you live for God and the more you come each and every day, you see that person. And they see that you're not wavering back and forth. You're not trying to play both sides of the field. It's just one, play, one, 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 one way. You know what I'm saying? And that's God's way. When they realize that you ain't playing games with your walk, when they realize that, 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 that you're upholding the word of God and you're putting God first in everything that you do, that's when they're going to start asking questions. So well, why, why do you? Why do you dress like that? Well, I mean, because, you know, I want to be obedient to God. That's what, that's what he asked me to do. Well, well, how come you don't curse? 
Because those are idle words. They mean nothing. You know what I'm saying? You know, God don't want me to go over here with a filthy mouth. I represent him. You can ask them, how come your parents just don't let you wear what you want to want? What you want to wear? Because you represent them, right? It's the same thing with God. You know what I'm saying? When I walk, when I walk out with God, I watch my mouth because what? I represent him. When I walk out of my house, the, the stuff that I wear, it represents him. La- uh, you, you know what I'm saying? Ladies with the hair. Ladies with the skirt. When, when, it comes to the, when it comes to the man, you know, of course, they might not be able to see that all the time on the outside. But the way you act, the way you live, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When they see that, that's when they start asking questions. Oh, man, I, 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 I didn't know that. Well, it does say it in the word of God if you, if you, you want to take a look with me. Well, okay. Well, just to let you know, you know what I'm saying? If you do have another question, I'll be sitting here. <laughs> and if I can't answer them for you, I'll call my pastor and we'll, we'll go over it. I'm pretty sure you'd be happy. <laughs> happy to hear from us. So, so basically, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the more you live for God, the more contagious, you know what I'm saying, it's you know what I'm saying? Either either some people will, 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 will be, I, I would say, get a conviction the way you, way you live, and that may not be around you, or some people will be interested. You know what I'm saying? Some people will be interested. So like I said, when you do have somebody that doesn't want to hear the word, uh, word of God, just keep it simple. Continue living, uh, uh, living for God and, and, and let them ask those questions. Yeah. Year after year, it may, it, may, it, may, it may take months, it might take days, you never know. I'll, uh, I'll continue. And they'll even ask, how are you always happy doing it? You know what I'm saying? How are you always happy living for God? You know what I'm saying? The, the, the simple question is, it's like, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not worried about anything anymore. Not, not, not as much as I used to be. Nowhere near. I don't, I don't worry about everybody's opinion of me anymore. Because at the end of the day, what, what can that do to me? Right. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? I belong to God, and that, it, it is what it is. You in the conversation right there. I'm not talking to him, but being straightforward with him. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and it says Jesus calls us to, to be set apart for, uh, uh, from the things of this world. Two, I want to be obedient to him, and because that, 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 and that's who I belong to. So when people ask you questions about why, why the way you live, the way you live, you know what I'm saying? Why do you talk the way you talk? You know what I'm saying? Some people, even, even the way you uh, uh, hold yourself, I live for God, and that's who I belong to. That's the reason. If you want more information, let's do a Bible study. <laughs> All right, hey, just invite them to the church house. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Let's go to Romans 12. Uh, Romans 12. And this helps me, too, 100%, because sometimes, I'm going to be honest with you, Sometimes it depends. It depends. Some people might say uh, might say stuff, and hey, your your opinion might bend a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Or you might let a few things. You know what I'm saying? Just because you're around certain people. But the thing is, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes we got we got we got to say no when when it might not seem like it's going to benefit us, but at the end of the day, it will. <laughs> Sometimes you got to be like, you know what? I can't be around this language all the time. I'm sorry. I got to leave. I'm so, I just can't. Hey, I, I, can't, I can't be around the, the things that, y'all, that, that you're doing. I just can't. I'm sorry. I, I, I understand it might have uh, offended a few people, but I'm not, I'm not here to be liked all the time. You know what I'm saying? I'm just not. <laughs> you know, you, 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 you know you, you, your pastor, you, you, think he does, you think he preaches the word of God to be liked by everybody all the time? No. You know what I'm saying? What the way you walk shall offend people. It is what it is. It shall offend people, and that's okay. And then when people people start noticing, that's all right because you're not meant to fit in. You're not meant to fit in. If you fit in with every single group, you might want to look in the mirror. You know, I, I think that sometimes, man, did I that that, that conversation did I did I did I put my my my, my approval on something that I shouldn't have? And then I'll pray about it to make sure that, 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 that you know that I, that I wasn't in in, in, in the right uh, that I was in the right mindset that I did agree to the right things. You know what I'm saying? Maybe my conversation might not have been the best. You know what I'm saying? So next time I got to make it better. You know what I'm saying? So we'll go to uh, Romans 12, 1. 1 and two. 
Uh, okay. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the uh, uh, mercies of God, that ye, re- re- excuse me, that ye represent your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that uh, what, what what is good, that that good that good and acceptable and perfect will of God acceptable unto who right so it's not acceptable unto Jimmy it's not acceptable unto Jared you know what I'm saying it's not acceptable unto Billy Susan Margaret it don't matter you know what I'm saying but it's acceptable unto God. So therefore, if somebody looks at you different, might scoff at you a different, a different way by the way you live or by, just by the way you look. You know what I'm saying? Just be like, okay, shake it off and continue. Sometimes it's going to hurt, but hey, you ain't never, been a, you ain't never met a, a true warrior without some battle scars. It is what it is, right? You ain't never met a true warrior without a battle scar. So if, I, so, so if I'm good with him and if I'm doing what he asked me to do, I won't conform to this world. And that's and it's great, but it doesn't mean that you always, like I said, it doesn't mean that you always have to be light. We are transformed for God. Just like I said, it's not for it's not for anybody else but God. It's it's not for the world's liking. You know what I'm saying? That leads you down that wide road of destruction. You know what I'm saying? If I live for what the world likes. How the world views their opinion of me, that leads me around that, that wide world of destruction. I'll start accepting everything, anything, anything they tell me, I'll start accepting to it. You know what I'm saying? You got some, you know, uh, some people are so confused in this world, they don't know, you know, what, what to believe in. They say they believe in God, but they'll be praising Buddha in the next day. They say they believe in God. Yeah, they, they say they believe in God, but, 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 but they're over here, you know, have their nose stuck in the Quran, or, or they say they believe in God and, 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 and not get fully, uh, 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 so, uh, not have their mind fully uh, uh, wrapped around what that really means. Like I said, that wide road of destruction, and it leads to confusion as well. So, so, so uh, not being ashamed, uh, they're not being ashamed of sin. Why things be uh, 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 that, that's why things are becoming normalized these days. I'm trying to get you to accept everything, and I mean absolutely foolishness. They're trying to get you to accept alcoholism. You know what I'm saying? Because if you if you warn somebody, hey, you might stop drinking. Hey, don't shame him. Don't shame him. Let him drink. He'll be all right. And then they get into a car, and then there's a car wreck, and they'll be like, well, what happened? I thought you didn't want me to warn them. It's the same thing with uh, 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 drugs. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we'll legalize it and, 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 and we'll normalize it. Things that are bad, they're trying to normalize in these days. They're trying to desensitize you. You get what I'm saying, right? That's the reason you got to keep your eyes on God no matter what. You got to keep your, your, your focus on God. No matter what happens on the outside, you have to keep your head straight forward. They're, they're, trying, to leave, they're, they're trying to normalize even, uh, even down to uh, uh, homosexuality. They're trying to put those in cartoons for kids to watch and for movies for y'all to accept. You get what I'm saying, right? And, 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 and the thing is, they, everybody's talking about, oh, well, y'all are the weird ones. Y'all are weird. That's weird to me. What you talking about that's weird? You know what I'm saying? Living for God's weird? But what you're putting in, into these little kids and what you're putting into the youth and what you're putting in people's minds and trying to normalize it, that's not weird? That's not sin? That's not uncalled for? God don't put his approval on that mess. And neither should we. You're young, but stand up. You're young, but keep your head up. You're young, but we need to move. Don't accept everything that you're taught. You get what I'm saying? Just like your pastor said, you need to read it for yourself and live it. 
Because the thing is, if you, don't, if, if, you, if you can't get into the word of God, if you can't get into the word of God and stay strict on it, and you can't stay firm on it, you'll believe anything. Anything they put on social media. Everybody claims about how they want to. Oh, yeah, I'm doing this because I want to be different. I'm doing this, but I want to be different. But every, but every single one of them got a social media account. Every single, one, every single social media account that you can, that you can imagine. Every single, uh, every single one of them want to go out and party. Every single one, you know what I'm saying? For the, not every single one of them, but for, mo- for the most part, the ones that I know. <laughs> they say they want to be different, but they follow the same trends. But if you say, hey, I'm different, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to follow God, then you're the outcast. Now, in God's eyes, I'm the number one. You don't want to walk around strange. If I'm a man, I dress like a man. I don't dress like a woman. So therefore, how are you calling me strange? I know, I know what this is meant for. Call me strange. So don't you. You know what I'm saying? No, that's what they do. Some people are like, what's wrong with you? You don't celebrate Christmas. You don't do this. You don't do this. Man, that's a little bit too strict for me. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. That's okay. I'm normal in God's eyes. I'm right where I need to be. So basically, they tell you you're weird for not wanting to uh, uh, fit in, but you need to tell them, hey, I think you're weird for not believing in God. And if you call yourself a Christian, I think you're weird for not standing up for, for the foolishness that we allow in our lives. So when people try to tell you, 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 you know, that you're weird, you know what I'm saying? Just smile at them. Don't start arguing with them. You know what I'm saying? Just smile at them and continue. You know what I'm saying? Because God put that smile on you. In today's world, we need to have some boldness. Youth, we need to have some backbone. Some fire that they can't understand. But they seek it. <laughs> Some fire, some, some, some fire that, that, that nobody can put you out. Each and every day, we need to have some, some, some boldness, some fire that, 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 oh my goodness, that consumes your whole life. That consumes your whole life. That makes you want to break out in praise. That makes you want to break out in prayer. That makes you want to think, break out in thanksgiving. You get what I'm saying, right? Ain't nothing wrong with, boy. Ain't nothing wrong with having. That type of fire in you. I remember uh, uh, we were praising worship, and then I saw a couple of y'all. Well, most of y'all was running around the church. I was sitting there, I had my hands up, and I see y'all running. I started smiling. I was like, oh, hey, that's what I'm talking about. Continue that run. Don't stop. Don't get tripped up by this. Today, hey, hey today we're going to live for God. Not tomorrow, not the next day. You get what I'm saying? Don't get tripped up by what you see. You know what I'm saying? God's control everything. Don't get tripped up by what you see. Especially if you're living for him. He got your life planned out. You continue. You know what I'm saying? In his will. Not our own. So you continue that race. Don't get tired. Don't look left. Don't, look, don't, don't go to the right. You know what I'm saying? Things you might see might discourage you, but no. Uh-uh. I ain't going to let that discourage me. People with unbelief, no. I ain't going to let that discourage me. People killing each other for no reason, I ain't going to let that discourage me. You get know what I'm saying? I'm going to continue to spread the gospel. I'm going to continue to live for God. So you need to have that zeal for the Lord about you that people can't help but notice. We'll go to Psalm 34.1. And I need this. Because sometimes, sometimes I, I get a little bit lax. Sometimes I wake up in the morning, I'll pray, I'll pray, I'll leave the house. You know, when you get, you know, get, get to work, you might have a little attitude, whichever way it is. But I won't, I, won't, I won't realize that that type of attitude that I might have, it might deflect a few people. Some people might want to come up and ask me a question about God, but my attitude is deflecting them, right? And, if, and I say work because that's what I do. Some of y'all go to school. You get what I'm saying? Some of you are kicked around the, your neighborhood, the people in your community. You get what I'm saying? 
So, so why, by, 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 by the way we act, you know what I'm saying, it might deflect a few people if we're not in our right mind. We'll go to uh, uh, Psalms 34.1. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually what? His, his praise shall continually what? Oh, that's everybody, right? <laughs> his praise shall continually be in my mouth. When we say this, you know what I'm saying? Say it, say it like you mean. Don't say it like you're reading it. You get what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You have to encourage yourself. You know what I'm saying? When you encourage yourself like that, you start encouraging people around you. You don't know what they're going through. But if you give them a shout of praise, hallelujah, and you got somebody next to you, and they might be going through something, and then, oh, what was that? You know what I'm saying? Then they start moving. You know what I'm saying? Just because you're young don't mean you don't go through anything. That don't, mean, that don't mean nothing. The person next to you might be struggling with something, and you don't know what, 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 what but you know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm going to praise God, right? And let my fire continue to spread. We'll continue. Continually means over and over and over again. Like I said, so not just at the church, but it could be at school. It can be at work. It can be in the marketplace. It can be at a gas station. You know what I'm saying? It can be at a restaurant. You get what I'm saying? I remember one time I was sitting there, and I was with I was a, a, it was a friend of mine. He's an atheist. And this is when, I don't know if it was probably about a year in the church. I'm not 100% sure. I was sitting there, we are eating at Denny's. You know, we're big, we're big guys, so we're going to eat there. So we're sitting there eating at Denny's, and we're having a meal. And we're sitting there, we're sitting there talking about, you know, different things. And uh, <laughs> we're sitting there talking. It was me, him, and another friend. Uh, I call his name. His name was Matthew. And we're sitting there, and uh, I was just telling about God, and and, and telling about, about about baptism in Jesus' name. And he was also talking about. Well, he's like, I don't know if I believe in God, and this, this, and that. But I was like, Then what do you believe in? Well, I, I believe in science, and I've never heard. He's like, I've never heard of giants. I've never heard of this, 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 and this. And I said, Well, you know, I pointed at his phone. I said, I said, use that sign right there and look up giants over here. And then when he he, <laughs> he saw giant skeletons online, what, 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 what's that? Doesn't that go against the science that you believe in? So how are you going to believe in something that can be easily uh, 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 disproven? The word of God ain't going to be. You get what I'm saying? And as I'm talking to these people, as I'm talking to them too, there's a lady, the, the, uh, 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 we're almost done eating. This lady walks up and she goes, hey, who over here doesn't believe in God? <laughs> and I said, well, <laughs> I believe in God. <laughs> we're almost done. By, by, by the time we're almost done, the other two raised their hands too. You get what I'm saying? And by the time we go up to pay for our food, <laughs> I said, hey, how, how much is it? The lady goes, well, that late, the lady uh, paid for yours. Amen. I was like, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> he know how to get to me. <laughs> he paid for my meal. I felt special that day. You know what I'm saying? But the work. I was in the will. I was in the will of God. His words don't fall void. They ain't going. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna be used. They're gonna be used. If they didn't hear it, the lady behind him heard it. If it wasn't for him, it was for him. If it wasn't for him, it was for her. You get what I'm saying, right? So it doesn't matter. Remember, remember, no matter where you're at, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, you represent God, but people are watching you. People are listening. I've been to, I've been to church, I can't, I can't remember, it was like 2011, 2012. I can't remember. It's been, you know, I ain't saying it's been a long while, but I've been having a good time. It's, it flew by pretty quickly. You know what I'm saying? It flew by uh, uh, pretty quickly. But the thing is, I've, I've, I've noticed, you know what I'm saying, no longer how long I've lived for God. People continue watching you, waiting for you to mess up. It is what it is. They're waiting for you. You know what I'm saying? When they realize you ain't cussing, they're waiting for that cuss word to slip out your mouth. When they see you, you know what I'm saying? When, 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 when they see you living the way you say you live, or the way you, 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 uh, uh, I guess to them, act. Like, you know what I'm saying? Not noticing that it's not an act. It's just who you are now. Like I said, it says, what's it say? Uh, uh, 
what, what uh, it says continually, but also. I remember when we go back to that verse, when it's talking about your, your body is, uh, uh, you know, you give your body, your body is a, is a living sacrifice. But also remember, your, your body is a living sacrifice, right? So they are, uh, uh, so since they do watch you, you know what I'm saying? You have to act like they're, not, not act, but you have to show them that what you have is real. Don't let the world determine how you live for God. Because Jesus is the one who wakes you up in the morning, each morning, and not others' opinions about us. So at the end of the day, when I get home, my wife's opinion don't put me to sleep. When I go, when I, when I go to home, when I go home, Brother Evans' opinion no, no, don't put me to sleep. Brother Ryan's opinion don't mean nothing to me. You know what I'm saying? When I'm going to sleep, that's not what puts me to sleep. And when I wake up, I, I didn't wake up on somebody else's opinion. You know what I'm saying? I will go because God let me wake up. He's the one that blessed me with another breath in my lungs. So, so, so what can those words, what can those words do to me? Don't get me wrong. They will hurt at times. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, whoever puts me to sleep and who wakes me up, who's I'm going to serve. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? My life is more, my life is more important than people's opinions about me and how they feel. Oh, he offended me. So what? You know what I'm saying? What you stand for offends me. It is what it is. You get what I'm saying, right? And I tell you this because just because you're young, it means nothing. You know what I'm saying? It, me, it, it, it just shows you that you got more energy. I know you got more energy than I do. When I was 18, I could do a lot more things. Now I'm about to be, I ain't going to say, but anyway. <laughs> In about a week or so, I got a birthday coming around. And I'm hoping I'm not, you know, I wish I was 12 again. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? I don't have the same energy that, that, that y'all have now. You know what I'm saying? 13, 14, 15 years old. You know what I'm saying? All that energy is for a purpose. You know what I'm saying? Use that energy. Don't let it go to waste. Trust me. When you start waking up and you got dust coming out your kneecaps, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. You got, you know, use some WD-40. It's a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? When you wake up and you got to stretch to get your day going, that's how you know you got older. You know what I'm saying? But right now, y'all wake up and y'all jumping around. You know what I'm saying? You're moving around. Use that energy to serve God. You know what I'm saying? Use that energy to bust out those Bible studies. You know what I'm saying? Use that energy to show your friends that you ain't playing. You know what I'm saying? Use the energy that God bless you with. So we need to be firm in the, in the Lord and say today is the day. I'll live by example. I will be a leader in my community. And there's nothing wrong with doing things in your community. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Go, hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? If you got a park in your neighborhood, hey, great. That's awesome. You know what I'm saying? Use that as an opportunity to witness to people. Another wrong being uh, being in your community. That's how you win souls. All in all, not being ashamed of the gospel, leading people to Jesus. Because at the end of the day, that's what I was called to do. You get what I'm saying, right? At the end of the day, that's what I'm called to do. I was up here, police. So you gotta stay focused on God. No matter what the situation, no matter what, what, what you might be in at that moment, you know what I'm saying? You have to, you have to, you have to live for God, but you also have to be that, 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 that uh, uh, one thing, that encouragement, but also you have to be that influence. I was at work the other day, and I walked by this kid, and he was, we were in a, we were in a sales meeting. And uh, one, my, 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 man, my uh, boss was saying, he, he saw one kid on the couch, one guy on the couch, he's a young kid, and he said, what, what's he reading over there? And he's just like, his sales manager said, hey, he's reading the Bible. And the sales manager was shocked. He was like, what? He goes, what, what, what's he reading? He goes, he's the Bible. And I'm sitting over here. You know, there's another brother in the church that was in the sales meeting. I looked at him, had a big smile on my face. A couple of days later, I walked by. I said, what book are you in? He goes, the Bible. 
I said, no, what book in the Bible are you in? And he's like, I'm in I'm Genesis. I said, that's awesome. I said, you ever been in Acts? <laughs> so I started talking to him, and he's talking about, you know, uh, yeah, I want to be baptized. And, 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 he, and he seemed excited. I remember that in my life. You know what I'm saying? When I first got in church, I remember that excitement. And it should stay like that. That excitement. You know what I'm saying? That excitement. You know what I'm saying? He's excited. He's excited for the word of God that he doesn't fully really know yet. You get what I'm saying? That he don't fully know yet. He doesn't know fully why he wants to be baptized, but he knows he wants to. <laughs> so I'm going to try to set up a Bible study with the young man. I'm not going to say his name. Hopefully he comes to church. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to try to set up a Bible study with him. Like I said, when you, when you get those opportunities, go ahead, go after them. You know what I'm saying? And don't be ashamed of the gospel. You know what I'm saying? This is what saves you. You know what I'm saying? That's awesome. That's what gives you life. In Jesus' mighty name, that's all I got. Lord Jesus, I thank you, Lord God, for, 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 for letting me preach your word, Lord God. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to preach your, preach your word, Lord God. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for the opportunity that you give us to praise, Lord God. Help us, Lord God, to be leaders, Lord God, in that world, Lord Jesus. Not to be scared, Lord God. Never to be ashamed, Lord God. Lord Jesus, to walk with you, Lord God. To talk with you, Lord God. You lead our lives, Lord God. I pray, Lord Jesus. That you put our feet in your hands, Lord God. Place us where you want us to be, Lord God. Each and every day, Lord God. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.